Hi and welcome to my playhouse and to the creepiest of my basement, the battery part. Um, I uh, have a lot of lead acid batteries, gel batteries sitting in here and they're not doing too great. Uh, they got undercharged this November, December, some of January because there was no sun whatsoever and they never got charged up again. That meant that they got out of balance really badly and when they get out of balance the, the batteries that are doing best gets a lot of over voltage while the ones that are not doing very well gets under voltage which result in you breaking all the batteries. That really sucks. So I uh, purchased something. I actually have the manual thing here. It's a tiny little balancer for lead acid batteries and I thought well, it's kind of expensive and it might not be any good, so oh, it's a lot of money. Um, but I got one and I was really surprised that it worked really well. So um, let's have a look at it. So it's sitting over here. We are lighting up the place with a flashlight. Um, and it's just a, um, a tiny, well, tiny and tiny. It's rather actually a little bit uh, heavy, but battery equalizer and this is the model HA02 and uh, what it does is that it makes sure that all the batteries are the same uh, voltage I wasn't sure that it was going to be able to do that so um, let's have a multimeter on there oh so here we are let's just measure the first battery in here let's see what the voltage is on that we are seeing 14.12 ish and the second one 14 just about 14 volts and this one just about 14.2 and this one just about 14.2 so this one is a little low but it's like 200 millivolts it's nothing. I've been afraid of ruining all the other batteries. I've had them uh, disconnected because I wanted more battery equalizers and I ordered four battery equalizers for it. So I'm gonna at least be connecting one of them in this video. So I have just started disconnecting the batteries over here to mount one of the equalizers. So let's just have Here's the package. There is four individual packages with each an equalizer. So it should be exactly like the one we just saw. There. Looks like that. Uh, the model, this, this one says that it's named something different, but it should be the same thing. I'm very interested in seeing the voltage on these batteries. Eleven point six and eleven point one. So a bit low. So we need to check the manual here, and it's important to have the the most uh, positive and the most negative in the in the right order so um, we're kind of doing what it's what it's showing here so the the battery equalizer which goes like this meaning that the most positive which is actually this lead right here uh, meaning that this lead needs to go on there and then there is a a Ah, they are all mangled up and then this one has to go on the back and um, the batteries are connected at the back so I'm gonna have the the most uh, the negative and the positive of the next one they're gonna be connecting up at the back of the batteries and then the two at the front and, um, and the balancer will be starting to work oh more noise nice so I'll be um, it's very easy to mount these because they're, uh, they have nice um, already mounted ears on them and they go right over my batteries. 
so that is perfect. I have to think like a little bit upside down because the battery bank here is positive over here and negative over there and I've built mine the opposite way so I have to have mine is positive over here so what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm just flipping this around and, and that way it, it will um, it will work oh I just measured the voltage on the last two batteries here I can't really place that anywhere where you can see it, can I? Uh, no. It needs a magnetic something. Okay, I'll just read it to you. Oh, let's see. There. This one is 11.15 and this one is 11.24. So it's not as if they're way out of balance, all of them, but they're very low. Uh, these batteries are rather hot, so they have been heating up. Um, I have a suspicion that my battery bank here might be done for. Um, these are from 2006, so the batteries are like 15 years old. So there's probably not much to do anymore. But um, yeah, let's just hook up this and see if it makes if it makes any difference. So the other one I was able to hear it had a, a whining sound to it. This one is very quiet. So um, now it will be working on making sure that the batteries don't get out of balance, which they really, they weren't really out of balance. So uh, it's, they're, not, they're not the worst. Bank two here was a little bit worse. This one was 13 volts, this one was 13, 12 and 11 volts in the same bank and that is not great. Okay, so the equalizer has been uh, connected. So now the first battery over here measures 12.8. Next one 12.6. Over on the other side we have a 12.5 and a 12.5 so it's doing something it might be because these batteries are so bad that it can um, equalize them right away because there is no current but um, yeah, I'm ho hoping that's not the, the case another problem here that is that there is no room to work here I've been very cheap with the spacing eh. okay I managed to connect it with something like getting your hand in here Oh, and uh, connecting screws that you couldn't see, so not the greatest. I only have that battery bank down there that is in need now. Have a little bit of a better look at it. So it comes in a box and it has some wrapping and it says battery equalizer and there is four sets of wires. So going from here you connect the most positive battery and the next positive battery and the second to last positive battery and the last battery in your series. So this is meant for four batteries in series, 48 volts. It can though also do 2.4 volts, 3.6 volts, 6 volts, 9 volts and 12 volts. So I'm kind of using it for the maximum that it's rated for. Um, and it comes with a tiny little manual uh, where it says how to connect this and you get some specs here and yeah you can you can read that it seems to be doing a good job so um, yeah there is that um, I'm gonna be mounting the last one and the wires is just about long enough if the batteries are not too far apart and uh, and apparently the manual says that the wires should be good for 10 amps I hope, hope I don't have to test that. Okay, so now there is a battery equalizer on each of my five remaining battery banks. I think the batteries are still pretty useless, but um, yeah, I'm still giving it a try. It's a lot of batteries to just trash, <sighs> but I think it might be going that way. The lithium ion bank is up here. I should, uh, I should put some covers on things. Uh, yeah, but I'm always messing with it, so um, 
As said, when you have four lead acid batteries in a series like this, if uh, one of the batteries starting, is starting to become bad, worse than the others, uh, that means that the other batteries has to take that over voltage that comes in. And that means that those batteries, well, they become bad as well. It's gonna go downhill from there. The battery, really? The battery equalizer helps that so that the, the batteries get the same voltage. It equalizes it a little bit. It might not be able to help the bad battery, but it kind of protects the good ones a little better. Uh, the problem with this battery equalizer is that now you don't see the bad batteries anymore. So you don't know what's actually going on. Well, you also had to measure the voltage before, but now when you measure the voltage, all the voltages will be right. And you don't know what's actually going on behind the scenes because the battery equalizer gives you a false picture of how everything looks. It saves the batteries, but it kind of hides the bad one from you. The thing that I think I can do is that when the sun has gone down and the charge controller is not putting in any voltage, I can go and shut off the batteries and I can see which battery banks end up with the lowest voltage tomorrow morning. And probably that battery bank is something there is not doing very well. And that might just be all of them. But uh, I was impressed with this battery equalizer. Otherwise I actually wouldn't have showed it to you. And even though this is a Chinese product, they're actually not giving it away. They are a little bit pricey. I forget what I paid for it. There was shipping and stuff, but I'll leave a link in the description so you can see which one I got. And the price varies all the time. It's never the same. So I can say one price now and in a few months it's completely different. So uh, check the link in the description and you can see the day price and also check out the specs on it. So I do actually have a new battery solution coming, but uh, that will be a completely different video. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.